Hey there, it's Tom Corson Knowles, number one best-selling author of the Kindle Publishing Bible series and founder of TCK Publishing. Welcome to the Publishing Profits Podcast Show, where our mission is to help you turn your writing into a profitable career. Our guest today is Rick Frischman. He's the author of more than a dozen books on marketing, self-publishing, and publicity, including this one, Author 101, Best-Selling Book Publicity. And uh, Rick is really an expert when it comes to marketing and promoting and positioning nonfiction books especially. He's a publisher at Morgan James Publishing and he's got a wealth of knowledge and expertise to share with us about the industry and about marketing. So make sure you've got your pen and paper, get ready to take great notes because you're about to learn how to make some serious publishing profits. Hi, well Rick, thanks so much for being with us on the show today. Tell us about your background. How did you get started in the publishing industry in the first place? Well, thank you. Uh, good to be here. Uh, I was a producer in New York at WOR Radio and uh, for a guy named Barry Tharber. Uh, that goes back to 1976 and then joined a company called Planned TV Arts. And I just started my 38th year doing publishing, uh, working with publishers and doing publicity. Uh, built that up to be the biggest PR company for authors and writers and experts in America. Uh, and sold it to uh, Ruder Finn, the biggest PR firm in America. At one point, I had 50 employees making over 500 calls every day. And I launched uh, folks who were unknown, um, just like many of you, and just wanted to be an author and wanted to get out there and build a platform. Um, but when we started with them, no one knew who they were, like Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen. Did you ever hear of those guys? Yes. And uh, well, when I met them in 1993, no one ever heard of them. They were broke. Um, and uh, T. Harv Ecker and also some novelists, um, uh, the guy named John Grisham and Barbara Taylor Bradford and Barbara DeAngelis and all these people, uh, Nelson DeMille, um, Harvey McKay. Uh, you guys as speakers, uh, you probably know Harvey McKay, How to Swim with the Sharks. You know, when we started with all of them, they all were in the same position. They, they just started as a writer, were pretty much unknown, and were just getting known as um, uh, and doing radio and TV and publicity. So uh, I've been working with these folks and people at National Speakers Association for, you know, like Zig Ziglar and Charlie Tremendous Jones and um, a lot of folks in, in, you know, who are speakers for all these years. And uh, uh, I work with every major publisher, Simon Schuster, HarperCollins, Hyperion, and I realized that I wanted to be an author. Uh, and I, my first problem was I'm the crappiest writer in America. I suck as a writer. I mean, it, everyone will tell you that. But my first book came out in uh, 2000 called Guerrilla Marketing for Writers. And uh, what I learned very quickly is you don't have to be a great writer to be an author. You just need to know a great writer to be an author. And I have great ghostwriters, and the way I write books is I talk my book, and I have ghostwriters that um, write it down and actually put it down so someone may want to read it. Um, so now I'm very fortunate. I, my, my first book came out in 2000. My 15th book is coming out this week called Networking Magic, um, second edition, and... Uh, I've sold hundreds of thousands of books and I don't even know how to write. So I could do it, you could do it. Um, so that's a little bit along the way, you know, um, promoting folks, working with publishers. And now, uh, in addition to being an author, um, I have the great honor of being a publisher. So some of you, I may want to publish your book. Uh, I'm the publisher at Morgan James Publishing. Oh, sorry, that's my dog. They love getting involved. So. Uh, uh, in New York, and oh, we're going to move, hang on, okay, I see another dog, all right, don't worry about it, um, this is live and more Memorex, all right, so, um, you can see me now, all right, we'll move back again, so I'll keep talking and shut up the dogs, but, uh, uh, I'm a publisher at Morgan James Publishing in New York, um, morganjamespublishing.com. And uh, I published Brendan Bouchard's book, who went on uh, to number one at the New York Times, um, and several other best-selling books. Uh, wait, hold on, we're gonna we're gonna silence this. This is for you. 
That's my literary attorney, actually, believe it or not, who we're going to talk about in a moment. Um, and we get about 5,000 manuscripts a year, and we publish about 130 of them. So um, we'll talk, I'll let you jump in. We'll talk about the different ways of getting published and building your platform and how to sell your book. So there's a long answer to a very short question. Yeah. Great. Well, thanks so much for being with us. So tell us about, you know, the, the process of getting started as an author, because I mean, it, everything you say sounds great. Like I know you've worked with many New York Times bestselling authors and help people sell hundreds of thousands or even millions of books. Um, but you know, not everyone's at that point and obviously not everyone's going to be that successful, but just in terms of getting out started in the career as an author, I mean, what is some of the advice you would give to someone who's brand new, just starting today, maybe to write their very first book? All right. Well, there, there, oh boy. Okay. There's a few things you have to start doing. Number one, uh, as a publisher and or literary agent and or producer, the first thing I'm going to do is do a Google search about you and see what comes up. So every one of you needs to have uh, a website, which is a speaker slash author site. I have 15 books to be talked about and I have a website for every one of my books. But I have a main site, which is rickfrishman.com, R-I-C-K-F-R-I-S-H-M-A-N.com. Your homework assignment is to go there because there's lots of lessons and see what I do. On that site, I have pictures of me with famous people, but I have streaming video. You can see me on Oprah. You can see me speaking. You can see me on Fox News. Uh, there's interviews on radio shows. There's newspaper stories, there's testimonials from lots of famous people, links to buy my books, um, a lot of information. I start talking to you right away. Um, so you need to have a lot of that on your site. And we redo it all the time, we're updating it. And then secondly, there's something called an ethical bribe, a freebie, uh, which you also should have. Well, on my site, when I'm on radio and TV, uh, I say, you know, go to author101.com or rickfishman.com, not to buy my book, but to get my free million dollar Rolodex. And that's 141 pages long and it's thousands of contacts. That's my ethical bribe, my freebie that gets you my newsletter and into my database. You need to be doing all that and have the same thing on your site. So that's homework assignment number one. Number two is what, what is your site? What, it, what site do they go to for you? You own your name? Yeah. Okay, spell it for me. It's Tom Corson Knowles, T-O-M-C-O-R-S-O-N-K-N-O-W-L-E-S.com. <laughs> now that is a pretty hard name to spell, isn't it? Right, that's why I don't tell people to go to that site. I tell them you go to tckpublishing.com. There you go. So here's what I want you to, to check out, folks, is uh, go to, I have a special site for authors called Rick's Chief Domains, R-I-C-K-S-C-H-E-A-P Domains, D-O-M-A-I-N-S dot com. It's the cheapest place to get URL. Um, it's $9.95 a year. It's cheaper than GoDaddy. And I want you to reserve your name and the spellings of your name and just what Tom's done, you know, get different um, phrases that go to you so that people can get to that are easy to, to remember and easy to spell. So I have like rickfrishman.com, but I have author101.com, author101university.com, guerrilla marketing for writers. I mean, I have a hundred URLs. They only cost nine ninety five. dollars um, In addition, by the way, just as a tip, I want if you have children, get your kids' names as well. And so you need to own URLs. You need to get them back to your site. You need to have ethical bribes and streaming video and streaming audio. That's number one, because that's the first thing we're going to do as a publisher or as a producer to check you out. Number two, as a writer, let's talk about it. What you need to do. Some of you are writing a book, thinking about a book, etc. I want you to write five potential titles for your book. And the title, here's the secret sauce is one to five words. Where's your wow? Gorilla publicity, blink, think about it. There's been a study done since like 1909 and the, the titles that sell the most are one to five words. After that, the subtitle of your book, if it's a nonfiction book, is the promise of the book. So like 17 ways to get people to wish they were you, 
28 strategies to make more money. Um, 16 ways to lose 10 pounds by next week. That, what is the promise of the book? So a short title and you need to own the URL. If you don't own the URL for the title of your book, it's not the title of your book. Everybody get that? You can tweet that. If you don't own the URL for the title of your book, it's not the title of your book. All right. Next up, you need to start a book proposal, even if your book is written. There are several good books uh, on how to write a book proposal. Uh, I have a whole book series called Author 101. The first one is Author 101 Book Proposal Book. You can get it for under $10 at Amazon. Uh, and it teaches you exactly how to do it. In fact, here's a, an interesting story. A guy named Jack Canfield sent a friend of his to me, said, hey, he's a book proposal. He needs work. Can you help him? And he sent this guy sent me his book proposal. I said, you know what? This book proposal sucked, and it did. I said, get this book, it's nine bucks at Amazon, do what I tell you to do, send it back to me in a week and we'll talk about it. If you don't do a new book proposal, just write your mother and tell her you don't want to be an author. And uh, this guy did exactly what I told him. I gave him some tips, which we're gonna tell you in a minute. Uh, the title of his book was worse than even the book proposal. It double sucked. And we had to redo that. He redid it all, great proposal, great new title, and um, then uh, sent it back, we got him an agent. His name is Tim Ferriss, and the new title of the book was The Four Hour Workweek. Not bad, sold millions of books. Now he has the four hour body, and he's now one of the biggest authors in America. It all started with a book proposal. So I'm gonna give you something free, actually a student of mine, um, took that book and made a program which is free, which is BP Wiz. BP stands for book proposal. BP Wiz, W I Z dot biz, B I Z, BP Wiz dot biz. And it's a free software that's plug and play that just teaches you how to book, do a book proposal. You do what I did and then put in your own words. Very simple. And what you need to have in there is your title, your subtitle. Uh, I want you to write down 15 chapter headings. Uh, write them down, they can change, but 15 chapter headings I want. I need you to write one or two chapters. I need you to tell us if you have a ghostwriter, like I use a ghostwriter. Um, and most importantly, what your platform is. Who loves you? Um, do you have an email list? Do you have a blog? Do you have a show like this? Uh, how many websites do you have? What are they? Have you been on radio and TV and newspaper? If so, when? Let me see them. Do you plan on doing publicity when the book comes out? Uh, are you gonna hire PR firm? Do you have a budget for that? Um, are you on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube? How many people follow you? In essence, um, I have a friend uh, named Scott Hoffman, who's one of the biggest literary agents in the world. And he speaks at our event called Author 101 University, which we're gonna invite all you folks to. And he won't touch you or even consider you unless you have what he calls it a relationship with at least 100,000 people. So that means they, um, they follow you on Facebook, they follow you on Twitter, they get your newsletter, they have a relationship with you, they love what they do. Um, they, we, you know, Ken Blanchard calls it raving fans or other folks may you know, uh, say that they're in your herd. I don't care how you wanna call it, these are people who love what you do and want more from you. They want to go to your lectures, to your seminars, to your teleseminars, listen to your radio show, and they're gonna to wanna to buy your book when it comes out. So that's what we are looking for. That has to be in your proposal. Uh, so what is your platform? I wanna see testimonials from people who love what you do, and also testimonials from radio people and TV people saying, wow, you were on my show and it was great, we got tons of calls, you were fabulous. Um, all of that goes in your proposal. And the proposal could be 30 pages long, uh, depending on how long your chapter is. And here's how you write your book. I mean, let's say we just said it, it's uh, 15 pages, uh, uh, 15 chapters. If each chapter is 10 pages, we have 
what, 150 pages. So if, you're, if each chapter is literally only between 10 and 15 pages long, you have a 175 page book right there. And that's the sweet spot for a nonfiction book. I assume most of you are writing a nonfiction book. So those of you writing fiction, that's a story, that's different and it's probably a 300 to 400 page book like John Grisham, you know, but most uh, nonfiction books, the sweet spot are 175 pages, to 225 pages. Uh, I published a guy, Brendan Bouchard, and his book, The Millionaire Messenger, went to number one in the New York Times. We sold it for 21.95. The book was only 161 pages long. Brendan came to our event, Offshore 101 University, five years ago. He was broke. He, all he had was a proposal. He didn't have a book written. He didn't have a platform, but he was just a bright kid. And he came and I fell in love with him and I introduced him to Scott Hoffman and we just talked about it before. Scott took him under his wing, redid his book proposal and sold his first book um, to Harper Collins. Uh, it took it two years to get out, but then um, his career started and now Brendan is, is one of the biggest authors in America. Again, we just, we just published The Millionaire Messenger and Morgan James Publishing. He wrote that book in 13 days in January, three years ago. He gave me the book on February 5th. I published the book on March 5th and it was number one on the New York Times on March 20th. So don't let anybody tell you that you gotta wait a year or two years or three years to get a book out. It can be done very, very quickly. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more. I just want you though to write down right now, and there's gonna be a quiz on this, author101university.com. The next one is coming up March 6 through 9 in Los Angeles, right at the Weston Hotel. And uh, if you use the coupon code Morgan James because you're listening to this broadcast, uh, it's $100 off, so you're coming for almost for free, $297, and you can bring somebody for free. So if you want to be an author, we're going to have 10, 15 literary agents and publishers. We have a publisher from John Wiley there. Uh, we have marketing specialists. We have uh, John Asereff will be there, Barbara DeAngelis, who sold millions of books or teaching. Uh, so if you want to come, you want to meet agents, you want to meet publishers, March 6 through 9 in Los Angeles, use the code Morgan Jane. Um, and again, because uh, you're, you're listening and watching this broadcast, we're, we're giving you a special deal. But, uh, and if you can't make it, don't worry. We're not, I mean, we're sold out every time. We got another one in October next year. Uh, but that's just, a, that's how Brendan got started. And I'm just letting you know the story. So it, it um, uh, it can get you on your way. And just the networking alone is, is amazing. And hotel rooms are only $109, by the way. So um, why don't we go to the next question? That's awesome. Yeah, and actually, I'll let people know, I mean, I attended uh, Author 101. Actually, I was volunteering um, to help out on staff, the, the staff work, but I got to you know listen in on a lot of the sessions. And I had actually self-published my first ebook a couple months before Author 101. And uh, as most listeners know, I mean, within 12 months, I had my first $10,000 plus month with my self-published eBooks alone. And a big part of that was actually Author 101. But for me, it was more, uh, it was a couple things. One, it was, it was just looking at all these successful authors uh, who were really just like me. I mean, they all started out broke. They all started out with just this idea. They wanted to help people and, and, and write a great book and help the world. And uh, they also had some amazing marketing strategies. I mean, just, just all the marketing and publicity strategies that I learned there really helped me take uh, my business to the next level. Um, but you know what I'm also hearing from you is that it's also about those connections because when you go and you meet someone like John Asaroff or Mark Victor Hansen or Barbara DeAngelis or these publishers or these publicists, um, it just makes it so much easier. I mean, you don't, you know, if you're just sitting at home on your computer all day and all year and for five years and 10 years and you don't meet people in the industry who are doing what you want to do, uh, it's very hard to succeed because you don't have that mentor who you can just model. Um, you know, when someone says, here's how you write a book proposal and it only takes you a day instead of six months of research, you know, that's six months you could be writing an entire book. You could be doing, you know, six months of marketing. Um, so just to be able to have that fast track to success to learning uh, is worth a lot of money and a lot of time. 
And I'd love you to come back, by the way. So uh, where do you live? I'm in Kauai, Hawaii now. Oh, why? Well, that's a long flight to L.A., but you're invited yeah. back anytime. I'd love you to have you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So let's talk about uh, about the marketing then, because um, you know, once you've got a book out there or you've got a book coming out, or even as you're talking about with these proposals where you have to have a lot of followers and a platform already, I mean, if I'm a new author and I don't have a platform, how do you go about creating that in the first place? Good. Well, it's sort of a catch-20 here. you got to, number one, have that site that we just talked about. That's your first thing. Number two, there's four areas of marketing we got to concentrate on. I call it four legs of a publicity chair. Um, first one is internet, then radio, then TV, then print slash blog. So internet, we need to have our site. We need to have sites for our books. So rickscheapdomains.com and then uh, I have some wonderful website people that can help you. If you go to rickfrischman.com, I have information there on it. Um, sign up for my newsletter and uh, I can connect you to uh, great website designers that are very reasonable. Um, and, or, and or you can email me directly. I answer all, all emails, rick at rickfrischman.com. That's what your email should be, by the way. It shouldn't be like john827-4276 at yahoo.com, no one can remember it. So mine is rick at rickfrischman.com. Your email should be your name, john at johnsmith.com. Send me an email, I'm happy to help you. And I'll connect you with website designers, ghost writers, et cetera. Secondly, you need, as we talked about, you need to start, this is all for free, being on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and on YouTube, and then Google Plus. So there's five of them. Uh, all free, and you can start doing just what we're doing now. You can you can uh, post videos on YouTube for free and once a week. I post on you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter every day. And then in addition, I have a blog. You should have a blog. Mine is rickfrischmanblog.com, and it's WordPress is what I use again, which is free. And you can update your blog. Doesn't have to be every day. I mean, because people don't know what to write. Um, you could do it once a week, twice a week. Just keep it, you know, keep it fresh. So that's the internet portion of it. Your websites and all the social media. Secondly, you need to start doing radio. Um, you in Hawaii can do radio all day long. Uh, all across America, by phone, there are thousands of radio shows. The best ones are between 7 and 9 a.m. Um, and you can do it all by phone and just... You can get a database. My friend Alex Carroll, who you met, has a database, uh, publicityvault.com, um, which has the best radio shows in America, and then you can just call yourself. So we're just saying call, you know, you can do Google search uh, on the top 15 stations in every market, Phoenix, Tucson, Los Angeles, and then just start calling each station and say, do you have a morning radio show? Who's the producer? And just Keep calling and following up, following up, following up, and doing your pitch to say I'm an author of a new book. It's much easier if you have their names in the database in advance, but again, you can do a lot of the legwork yourself. Uh, you can actually get a um, someone to help you for very little amount of money, a virtual assistant. I have a service called wixva.com. Uh, I had someone for $25 a month making phone calls for me. And if you go to Rick's VA, it, it, you can get a whole week, 40 hours for free, just to try somebody out. Or here's a free, another free way of doing it. If you have a college nearby, see if they have a communication school and say, I want to hire a kid in the communication school and have them make the phone calls for you. And if they're in public relations or TV or radio, then they can put on their resume that they work for a best-selling author and they made the calls for you. Um, so you have someone else do it for you. Uh, you Brilliant. Can, of course, is that a, isn't that a good idea? Yeah. Uh, it's like hiring a munchkin is what we call that. <laughs> and, and there's lots of kids and you can pay them seven, 10 bucks an hour, you know, um, and, and then just say you can put on your resume and they'll love it. And it's a great experience for them because they're talking to all these big producers and they get to learn how the business works. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. And then that's what PR firms do. They hire kids right out of school. They pay them like 15, like little amount of money and they learn on the job. 
So you can do it. Just go to, you know, any community, any college, go to the communications department, particularly in broadcasting and or PR. The kids will love to do it. And they'll make a little money while they're doing it. Uh, same thing they can do with TV. They call the same TV stations. There are five. They do CBS, NBC, Fox, ABC, and usually cable. So maybe there's five or six outlets in every market. Um, see if they'll want to put you on. The problem with TV is you got to go there. So start with your local market first. I mean, for you to do a TV show in Los Angeles, unless you're coming in author 101 University in March, it's going to be tough. You got to start in Hawaii. But if, for those of you watching this broadcast, if you live in Seattle, you can start in Seattle, then we uh, go to Portland and take a drive to adjacent market. Um, next, same thing with newspapers. Uh, start with your local newspaper, have your munchkin make phone calls, say I have an author, I have an expert, and uh, start with your local paper and then the daily paper. Um, and publicity gets publicity. Um, and now I'm going to give you two secret sauces, okay? This is worth your entire call right here. There are two things that you can do. One is, and it's on my site and in my newsletter, but one is Rick's Press Release Sender.com. Rick's Press Release Sender.com. This is a service with a PR Newswire where you get a special discount that will send out a newswire to thousands of outlets. I just sent one out two weeks ago for $297, and I get up to 800 words. The next day I was picked up by over 300 outlets, including um, Associated Press and Business, uh, Business Week, um, $297. Amazing service, rickspressreleasecenter.com. You can do it once a month, but it goes out to thousands. It's the only service like that that really works. I've been doing this for 38 years. This is the best service out there. My friend Dan Janelle, PR Leads, runs it. The second one is ricksprleads.com, which is where you're getting queries from reporters all across the world. ricksprleads.com. It's $99 a month. And if you go there, you can actually send an email to daniel at prleads.com. Tell them you're coming through me, and you'll get the first month for free. How's that? So you can just try it out for a month. You can do this for three months. It ends up the first month's free. And the second month and third month, they're 99 bucks. So you spent a whopping $200. See how it works. Um, and then if you want to keep it, you can do it 99 bucks a month or $500 for six months, whatever. Check out the site. These are my two secret sauces of PR. It works better than anything. It's cheap and it's this is what the PR firm uses that you're paying $5,000 a month. Yeah. So we just saved you five grand a month and you can do all this for, for very little amount of money and know exactly what they do. They hire munchkins, you can hire munchkins. <laughs> they use this press release service, you can do it. They, use, they, they pay $2,000 for it for PropNet, you can do it at Rick's PR Leads for 99 bucks. So, you didn't know you were going to get all this when you started this call, did you? Okay. No, and actually it's funny because I was just, in the past couple of weeks, I was looking at press release services, and one of the, one of them was like, you know, a minimum of $1,000 up to like $8,000, you know, just for like just for like a single press release. So it's not even yeah. like on an ongoing basis. Yeah, this is, go check this out. You can send an email to Dane and just say you're one of my, my students, danielprleads.com. And you'll get a special deal, but just go to those sites, but he'll help you out. And um, uh, it, it works brilliantly. And the amazing, normally they only let you have a 400 word release with us. I think we, we get it for eight, you have up to 800 words. And um, I'm using, I'm sending releases out every month for the books that I publish. Um, so as a, an author, an aspiring author, I'd love you to send me your book proposal, send me your book. I may be interested in publishing it, just rick at rickfrischman.com. Um, obviously, I'm inviting you for a special 
price to go to Author 101 University, see what it did for Tom here, you know, that's March 6th through 9 in Los Angeles. Use a special coupon code Morgan James. Um, start working on your book proposal. Start working on your publicity plans. Again, internet, radio, TV, newspaper. Um, if you need a ghostwriter, I have tons of great ghostwriters that can help you write your book. Remember, each chapter is only um, 15 pages. You can even just talk your chapter just like this. I could write a book with you. You could interview me. We can turn this into a book. A half hour interview could be 15 pages. You do that 10 times, you have your book. You can even use a software. I think it's called Dragonware. You know it? Dragon Naturally Speaking? Yeah. Or Dragon Naturally Dragon Speaking, something Naturally like that. Speaking, that. You can just download. Or you, I, you may buy it. I'm sure it's very cheap. And then you just record your book. And what it does, it transcribes it. Now you take that transcription and you just send it to a ghostwriter. I have ghostwriters. And they'll turn it into a book. So you don't have to be a great writer. You just have to be a great talker. And... That's, and once you have your format, where you have your proposal, you have your title, you have your 15 chapters, then it's easy, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Awesome, that's really helpful. So let's talk about then, uh, you know, after, after everything. So you've done the marketing, um, you've got your book written. How fast do people normally see success? And, you know, how long is the process? Often a lifetime. <laughs> um, I know authors, it took 30 years to become an overnight success. Uh, and I know it, it is a never ending process. When I started with, uh, in 1993 with Mark Picker Hanson and Jack Canfield, they were turned down by 140 publishers. They finally got a publisher to take them on. If they agreed to buy back 20,000 books, I started doing publicity for them. No one understood what the title chicken soup for the soul man it took me a year to get him a tv show all we did was radio for a year then we finally did some tv um and they're continuing to do it 30 years later 20 years later what is it 1993 to what is it now 2014 how many years is that 20 years almost 21. 21 yeah so that's a lot of years uh and they're doing something all the time uh, so it's, it's a never ending process. You got to do publicity. I would do a radio show every week. I would try to do a TV show every week if you can. I mean, there, you got to go there. You got to do internet and blogging and everything every week. Um, you got to have more than one book. I mean, you start with one book and then you do another one. I, mean, I could have stopped with my first book, Real Marketing for Writers. But once you do one book, it's like, wow, this wasn't that hard. I can do another one. I mean, you're probably working another book, aren't you? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly how it was. When I, when I first started writing my first book, I was like, this is so hard. And it's, you know, I, you know and I saw all these fears and anxieties I had about writing a book. It was like, it's so incredibly difficult. And then when I finally got it done and published it, I was like, that was so easy. Let's do another one. Because that's once you good. figure out the process, you just repeat the process over and over. But it's just a learning curve once you get there. Uh, yeah, so you, you do it again. And you got to do publicity and marketing. It's building your platform for every book, for everything that you're doing. Never stop. Never stop going to seminars and meeting people because there are partnerships that happen where the folks will mail for you, do other things for you, do bestseller campaigns. And it's all that networking. That's what makes all the difference. So, you know, you got to keep on learning. You got to keep on moving forward. You got to keep networking and meeting new folks. And um, that makes all the difference. But, uh, and even when you, you know, when you have a number one New York Times bestselling book, then you want it even more. It's like, wow, I went to number one. I got, I got to do it again. And if you're not number one, then you get really pissed. <laughs> it's like, man, you know, I, I don't understand it. I was number one before. Now, you know, it's not, I'm not number one anymore. So people still, you know, want it again. So um, that's just human nature, you know. Nothing, you always want the next one to be bigger. And, you know, with Mark and Jax, I have my first, you know, goal was I want to sell 10 books, then 100 books. I want to sell 100,000 books. I want to sell a million books. Well, I did a million. Now I want to sell 5 million books. 
Well, now they're at about, at about 150 million votes. So now there are very few people in the world that can say that. Um, now, by the way, here's a warning. If you come to me with a new book and you say, you know, my goal is I'm going to sell a million books. I'd say that's nice, but first have a realistic goal. It's like, how many books have you sold before? Well, none. Okay, well, how about let's start trying to sell a thousand books? And then after that, 10,000. But if you come with some pie in the sky, you know, I'm going to sell a hundred million books. It's like, no, you're not because you're not even on this earth. You know, just get re real. Um, I like the fact you have a lofty goal, and that's fine. And let's first start with a realistic goal, and we'll go from there. But it's it's um, we've given you lots and lots of homework assignments to do. I don't want to overwhelm you. So again, get your URLs, get your website going, start with your book proposal. Use um, bpwiz.biz. Um, come to Author One Hundred and One U. Start doing your press releases, start your blog. I mean, we just gave you about 50 different things you got to do. And I don't want to overwhelm you. Email me, rick at rickfrischman.com. Uh, most important to do, go to rickfrischman.com, get my Rolodex, and then get uh, sign up for my newsletter because I have lots of free, great information. And in addition, it's a teaching tool. You'll see what we do once you sign up and how autoresponders hit up hit off, et cetera. Uh, and you need a system, by the way, to send out emails, collect emails, send out autoresponders. Um, I'm sure you have a system that does that. Um, there's many, constant contact, infusion soft. Just do your research, see which one is right for you. Mine, full disclosure, it's uh, my affiliate, you know, to this, but it costs the same as rickswebsolution.com. That goes to a shopping cart system, it's about $50 a month. That's what I use. Infusion is the granddaddy of them all. That's probably the biggest and the best. If you have a big list. If you don't, start with something smaller and just get it going. Mm -hmm. But you got to have some sort of system that will do all that for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing a wealth of information with us, Rick. And one thing that I just want to point out and reinforce for people is that, you know, it's so important the connections that you make, especially in the publishing industry. Because it is this like a really close knit community of people, but you know if you're like again if you're just sitting at home reading blogs, reading websites, I mean half that information is wrong, and you know if you don't have someone like you who's been there, done it, you know over and over and over again, uh, you can end up spending a thousand dollars on a mistake, overpaying for services like press releases when you could spend you know less than that to go to Author One Hundred and One and meet you know all these top authors and top publishers and top agents and top publicists in the industry and just really take the shortcut to success. Exactly. So um, we're here to help you. Uh, again, I'm a publisher. I'm interested in seeing your book. Send me your book proposal. Send me your book. Hopefully, I'll meet you in person March 6 through 9 in Los Angeles, author101university.com. Thank you for having me on. Enjoy Hawaii, and I hopefully I'll see you soon, all right? Thank you, Rick. Have a great day. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey there, it's Tom Forsenholz again. I hope you love the show today with Rick Frischman. If you'd like to connect with Rick or learn more about what he's up to, check out his website, rickfrischman.com or morganjamespublishing.com if you're interested in that. If you want to get all the latest episodes and news about the Publishing Profits Podcast show, come join us at publishingprofitspodcast.com. Now please subscribe to the show on iTunes. Uh, leave us a review. We would love to have your feedback about the show, what do you like, what don't you like, what can we do to improve, are there any guests you recommend, guests you want to have on the show, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach me personally at tom at tckpublishing.com. So stay tuned for next week's show, we're going to have a special guest who's going to share with us how to record, produce, and publish audiobooks, and all about the really coming wave in audiobook sales and audiobook production. So I'll see you next week's show, take care.